<laughs> unpleasant for you. <laughs> this all began in uh, October 2010 when the Commission was asked to review the adequacy of the regulatory environment uh, in which New Zealand's news media is operating in the digital era. Uh, Minister Collins uh, has today tabled our report, which is the document you have in front of you uh, in Parliament. Indeed, she's likely doing so at this very uh, moment. I want to make four points to you uh, about the reference in general. First is that the report is a timely one. As Sir Peter Gluckman has said recently, digital technology has brought about the most profound change uh, in how we communicate as humans since we first uh, acquired speech. And our report is about how the law, the law needs to respond to the challenges that this uh, throws up. The second point I want to make goes to the scope of the report uh, and reduced to essentials, it deals with two things. Firstly, how news media, uh, who currently enjoy, uh, I think to the surprise of some, a privileged status, should now be defined in a converged world and held accountable uh, where anyone uh, can break news and broadcast it to the world at large. The second aspect of the report concerns freedom of speech uh, or freedom of expression. Uh, there is no debate. Everybody agrees that, that is an absolutely fundamental value uh, to which we all uh, adhere. But the question is how are rights to privacy, reputation, uh, and a fair trial in particular uh, to be best uh, adapted and enforced in the digital age. The third point uh, to be made at the outset is the question of target. Uh, I mentioned in the press release which has been made available to you that this particular report is not, as in the United Kingdom, premised on media wrongdoing which needs redressing, uh, as is the case with the Levinson report in the United Kingdom. There is no crisis of confidence in New Zealand, uh, but our research showed, we think clearly, that the public does place great importance on media standards, uh, including the need for accuracy and fairness. What the public wants, as expressed to us, is universal standards which are applied consistently, whatever the format, not just print. The fourth point that I'd like to make at the outset concerns the reception of the report. Generally speaking, there was a favourable uh, reception uh, of our issues paper. Uh, we much appreciated the feedback that we did get, both by commentators uh, and the media. As to commentators, uh, some of you, I think, will have had the opportunity to go to Lady Justice Ardern's Cook Lecture in uh, Wellington, and she expressed uh, some appreciation and support for what we'd put together. Uh, I had the opportunity to discuss the matter more fully with her at the judges' conference in Taupo this weekend, uh, and uh, she felt very strongly, she having had a lot to do with this sort of area in the UK and the Levinson report, that in some ways it was regrettable uh, that the Levinson report in the United Kingdom uh, had been confined, as it were, to a particular parameters of press wrongdoing, and, uh, and that tends to distort things a little. This, this report, she thought, uh, and obviously we think, uh, looks at the matter in a different kind of light today. It asks, well, what is the world that we live in like? Uh, and convergence, of course, is one of the, the major features of that. Uh, that's not the only comment we've received, but it's the most recent one by commentators, and it was encouraging. 
I think it's also true to say that the media uh, uh, and the, 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 the uh, respected for this have already begun to move through recent developments uh, in, that the media have taken in the sort of direction that we suggest in the report. So uh, we're well aware of the strains and difficulties in this particular area. We're well aware of the constraints under which uh, particularly the press, uh, the print media operate today and the difficulties of it. What we've endeavoured to do is to start from first principles uh, and to say in the kind of world which we are in and for the foreseeable future, uh, what kind of model uh, would best benefit the citizens of this country. Well, I've talked at a large, uh, at a high level of generality and uh, uh, John, if I might turn it over to you to get down to the nitty gritty which I always devolve upon you. <laughs>